opponent and put them on the defensive the whole time, you're going to win a lot of fights. I mean, it's no brainer. Absolutely. This is a fight I'm actually I'm actually pretty interested in. Um, Terry on Ware and Bobby Sanchez. Yep. This is one of those discrepancies in uh, in records that we were talking about. Terry on Ware five and two. Bobby the Kid Sanchez thirteen and twenty two. Big you know big experience difference. Obviously Sanchez with the losing record, Ware with the winning record. Which is better in your mind, the five and two or the thirteen and twenty two with all that experience? You know, it's it's tough because the thirteen and twenty two guy is not afraid of anybody. Yeah. You know, and obviously, I'll tell you from experience, I have a history with Bobby Sanchez. You know, we fought right here in the in the Bama USA That's cage. Right. And you know, and I, I believe that I have a very high level wrestling. And Bobby took me down. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Terry on as a striker can 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 deal with that. Not only deal with it, deal with it a guy who is confident to go up on any caliber opponent in the world. Yeah, Bobby the Kid Sanchez could very well appear in a Marvel Comics superhero movie taking on the Hulk or Captain America. He'll fight anybody. Tomorrow, today, he'll do it on any yeah, time. Yeah, he's a very game. He is the definition of what a fighter is. He really is a tough guy. He takes on challenges. I think sometimes to the detriment of his record, you're seeing where he has stepped up because somebody needed somebody who was skilled enough and capable to take so-and-so on, and he's the guy. He's like, yeah, I'll do it. Absolutely. I'll do it. You know, I've trained with both these guys also. So this is going to be interesting. You know, Terry on is a very good striker. Bobby's a very good wrestler. So um, it's going to be interesting to see who comes forward with their game plan. I know Bobby is now training over at Millennia Jiu-Jitsu. So uh, if that's the case, hopefully we'll see, you know, some uh, improved Jiu-Jitsu and striking in his game. Because, you know, they have a lot of talented guys coming out of that gym also. Yeah, well, I'm a fan of Millennia as well. There's a lot of talent between striking and grappling and everything. They have a, a, a full bag of, of deep talent to tap into. You can't have a, a fight promotion in Southern California and not have some millennia, <laughs> millennia MMA guys on there. There's so many of them. Yeah, and they bring them everywhere, too. I've done shows in Florida, and there were guys from Millennia on the card because you knew you were getting quality athletes who were prepared. You see they were, uh, the whole crew in the corner with Bobby. It's good company. Batiste Monsieur there. See, uh, Funny to see Romier. Batiste on camera. Usually, yeah, and Romero. Usually Romier Batiste is texting us from somewhere else <laughs> when he's watching the shows. But now he's here tonight. I don't think we're going to get any text in this fight. <laughs> you know, one thing we're going to know about both these guys is that they're both coming to fight. You know, Bobby Bobby has a lot of experience. Terrion showed in his fight against um, uh, Jared Papazian that he's very game. You yep. know, he's he's coming to fight also. So yeah. um, this has potential to be a very exciting fight to see who, is, like I said, is is bringing their game Let's get the to the started. table before the other one does. Our next is a catchweight fight. Referee in charge, Mike Bell. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. His official weight, 135 and one quarter pounds. Fighting out of Systems Training Center. Please welcome from Los Angeles, California, Terion Flash Ware. And now let's welcome his opponent across the cage in the red corner. His official weight, 138 pounds. Fighting out of Millennia MMA and 10th Planet, Let's welcome from Riverside, California, Bobby the Kid Sanchez. One thing I'm comfortable speaking to uh, on behalf of both of these guys, too, outside of the numbers and statistics, two very likable and respectable athletes that you're looking at in the cage here who, who are not unwilling. Both of these guys are taking a risk by fighting each other at, the, at the given junctures in their career. So we should see some fireworks in this one. First round, this one's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Three fives. At a catch weight of 130. Yeah, for you out-of-state watch, you know, viewers out there, California has the opportunity to do three three-minute rounds. Not every state has that option. Right. People wonder, wow, what's, what's this three threes you're talking about? California is one of, one of the few states that lets you do three threes. I guess we're just, we're just extra lazy out here. I don't know if that's what it is. Yeah, or there's a union involved, possibly. <laughs> Bobby the Kid Sanchez, white with black trim. The black trunk with some red and white trim. That's Terry and Flashware. Both really, like I said, nice guys. You see Terry. Oh, and a heck again. That Whoa. might be it. And that is it right away. Terry on showing why they call him the Flashware. Sanchez was faking that shot the entire time. Ware timed it. I don't know if it was a shin or the knee that connected on Sanchez, but Ware put him away early in the first. Best knockout of the night so far. 
Yeah, that was well placed. He, he, he knew the shot was coming, was timing it, and it, it was well, well placed. Great job by Tarion. See the replay right here. Yep, it was a kick right there on the chin. And a couple of hammer fists to follow. I mean, I, I really, I, I feel like feints aren't used enough in mixed martial arts, whether it be striking or, or, or faking a takedown. But Sanchez wasn't really faking. He was kind of just giving away his game plan. He knew he was going to be shooting in there. And Ware just timed it perfectly and caught him flush on the temple. Funny, right at, right at the culmination of the style difference you were talking about, Sanchez maybe wanting to get him to the ground, having a, a probably maybe the superior wrestling pedigree, Ware being the striker, and, and upon those two styles clashing, Ware finished it. You know, what you, what you really have to do at that point is when you're a wrestler and they know you're going to shoot, you have to make them think you're going to strike. You've got to get in there and strike a little bit so they start striking back at you, and then you can set up your takedowns. You can't show it right off the bat, and, you know, they already know you're trying to do that. You really have to start blending the two together and um, make them forget about the game plan, and then you can impose yours. The friend, trainer, and fellow comedian as well, Ian Harris, there in the, in the corner of where. Harris is a comedian? Yes. Are you just being sarcastic? No, he's really? he's an actual comedian. Uh, trains fighters and he's a comedian. He's one of us rare few who was walked in both worlds. Very, actually, very funny, very uh, smart style of stand-up comedy. If you go to, a, I believe it's Apocalypse Comedy Tour, you can find it on YouTube if you look if you look up Ian Harris. There's a promo for the for the video. Really, really funny. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at 48 seconds of round number one. Referee Mike Bell stops this bout. For your winner by knockout, Terion Flash Ware. If there's a good side to this for Sanchez, he didn't get hurt. It was over fast. Well, but there's probably a couple brain cells that may, be, uh, may have slipped through the cracks. But that was, uh, yeah, you're right. He's walking around, looks like he's in good spirits. Yeah. Um, he, he was up right away. That's always good to see. You're watching Bama USA's Bad Beat number nine. We're at the Commerce Casino, largest poker room in the world. I that can, is a fact. I can hear the chips calling my name from all the way over here on the second floor. 